When the anointing is really there, it's easy for people to be healed and free because demons are nothing to God. It's just that God has a system, a way in which he moves. We can't do things our own way. God, deliver me! You can be praying like that in your room forever. Nothing happens. You need to read the word of God. You need to be humble. You need to allow him to reveal to you his ways. This is how I heal and deliver my people. I put my anointing in vessels. I have my church. My church is important. What my children need to do, what the body of Christ needs to do is position themselves where the anointing is flowing from. When it's really the anointing, there is no struggle. That's the secret of why. How were all of them healed? I'll be struggling, casting out a demon for hours. Nothing's happening. Peter had the anointing. And not only were all of them healed, it was happening so easily and with such ease. They just positioned themselves like you did today. Just passed by and just his shadow touching them made the demons flee and the sick be healed. He's not having to use any physical effort. He's not having to scream really loud. He's not having to say, help me. A bunch of you need to yell, get out to the demon with me. He's not laying his hands down and pushing the person down. It's purely the anointing. The Bible says that it's the anointing that destroys the yoke, not loud voice, not physical force, not putting objects. That's why with Peter, he could just walk by in his shadow. He had a high level authority. So what happens is when Peter says one word, all demons must go. Every demon that's there has to obey that. 